After five years aboard the HMS Beagle, Charles Darwin started living at Down House, Kent, in 1842. It was here that he would conduct most of his studies, here where he wrote his revolutionary book, The Origin of Species, and here where he would father biology. Before Darwin, biology did not properly exist, but his experiments on the natural world meant that people began to understand and take an interest in their environment, and began to try and protect it. It is partly because of Darwin's studies that we are so concerned about climate change and pollution today. Darwin's first experiment took place in a narrow chalk grassland east of Down House, known as Orchis Bank. There are nine types of orchid there now, and Darwin's favourite was the pyramidal orchid. Darwin watched the insects which fed off the orchids and noticed how it appeared that there were specific insects which fed off specific orchids. Further study revealed that the insects and orchids had evolved in parallel, with the insect needing a specially shaped proboscis to access the nectar. The orchid benefited from this as the insects would rarely visit other flowers, so there was a greater chance that the orchid would get pollinated, meaning an increase in the orchid population. To Darwin, this experiment highlighted the way that organisms can evolve in parallel so that they develop a unique relationship that benefits both parties. In his second experiment, Darwin removed a three foot by two foot piece of turf from his orchard. He monitored this area over the spring and summer, and every time a seedling sprouted he put a piece of wire next to it. Over the course of his experiment, Darwin placed 357 separate pieces of wire. However, at the end of the experiment, there were 295 pieces of wire without seedlings next to them. These seedlings had either died from too much heat, rain or sunlight, or been eaten, or caught a disease and died. Darwin realised that most of the seedlings had died because they were not very well suited to their environment. Only the best adapted seedlings lived to become fully grown plants. Intrigued by this, he conducted other experiments and found much the same thing happening. He had discovered the concept of the survival of the fittest. In a third experiment, Darwin wanted to find out how developed the senses of earthworms were, and began to test to see if they could hear. Darwin got a bassoonist to play some music to a worm that had been placed in a container of earth, in order to see if it reacted. It didn't, so he then tried a piano, which is still in his house today. Again the worm failed to react, so Darwin repeated the experiment, only this time he put the worm on top of the piano. This time, when a note was played, the worm retreated down into the soil. From this experiment, Darwin concluded that whilst worms couldn't hear, they could sense vibrations. This is a way that they have evolved to suit their environment, as it allows them to tell when it is raining. These experiments, along with the many others that Darwin conducted at Down House, were all of vital importance to the conception and refinement of his theory of evolution. It was with these experiments that Darwin perfected his theories on survival of the fittest, as well as more complex ideas such as species evolving in parallel and adapting in certain ways to different circumstances. This alone makes Down House a fantastic environment for budding biologists to gather inspiration, but on top of this, the site is extraordinarily well preserved. Items such as his piano from the worm experiment are still on display, and many of his collections taken from the Galapagos Islands, among other places, are easily accessible for study. Another excellent feature of the residence is that the biological diversity of Down House also means that it is almost as useful today as an area for scientific study as it was in Darwin's time. And finally, it is a well-developed green space, the numbers of which are decreasing, adding to the site's tremendous significance.